So this is a product or monitor, I should say, that turns your PlayStation 5 into a gaming laptop, essentially. Let's see if it's good. Skip it up and that up. You know what? I get emails all the time for crazy stuff like this, and I usually turn them down because whenever I've taken them up in the past and taken review samples in the past, they were really, really awful. Like, okay, you review things, they're not good, you tell people they're not good, and that's they, they're like so bad that I didn't even want to make a video in case there's a risk of someone going out and buying it, even if they saw it, that I reviewed it and said it sucked. I'm not exaggerating. And yeah, this box doesn't give you high hopes, I'm assuming, but I have bought products from G Story before, and I've had insanely good luck with them. Maybe their box art isn't great, but the product that's inside of the boxes with the crappy box art is pretty damn good, at least for my experience. So this is a monitor that attaches to your PlayStation 5, and it literally turns it into a gaming laptop. It has 4K, HDR, not 120 FPS refresh rate, which kind of is a little disappointing, but still, if it's a great picture and, and it looks good, that's still, you, you essentially could portableize your PlayStation 5. Think about that. Let, let that sink in a little bit. Should make you tingle in strange areas. I'm tingling. Well, anyway, I'm not going to talk too much like I usually always do. We're going to crack this open, hook it up to the PlayStation 5, and see if it's actually worth the price. Because it's not cheap. I'll have an affiliate link below in the description. It's an affiliate link, but this is not a sponsored video. They just sent out the product. Oh, wow. It actually... <laughs> okay. Can you can you even see me right now? Power adapter. We'll look more into it in a second. Got batteries, I'm assuming, for the remote. And here we got the remote here. This actually looks similar to the remote I had for my other G Story monitor. And we have instructions and an insanely short HDMI cable, which for this will actually be useful because you're hooking the monitor right up to the PlayStation 5. So you don't need a long cord. It also comes with a stand. So anyway, let's take a look at this. Wait a second. This hooks up to, the, I guess, the top side of the PlayStation 5. I'm going to hook this up to my PlayStation 5 digital. And on the back, it shows you have one port that's 4K60, one port that's 4K30, and they have a barrel plug for the DC in. So, um, okay, it, it's not the most quality looking product, but it doesn't look chintzy or cheap either. I mean, you have two speakers that are off center, one here, one here. I guess they did that because there's more depth is there more? Yes, there's more depth in this part and there's more depth on that, that part. So they want you to get more bass instead of just putting them both up front where one's more shallow. I guess the sound would sound uneven. Uh, on over here, we have menu button, your source, which is either HDMI 1 or 2. We have enter, I guess if you don't have the remote, I guess you can navigate through options and the power button. And I have sweat dripping off of my forehead right now. Uh, that just probably makes the video better for you. Makes me look sexier. And on the front here, you have two headphone jacks. So if you want to have, if you're playing two players with somebody, you could actually hook up two pairs of headphones. And that's actually nice. I mean, I would recommend using wireless headphones, but it can't hurt to have them there. I like that there's still headphone jacks on some products in 2021. So points for that. Whether you use them or not, oh well, but they're there. I still think that was easy, but this is the first time I've ever taken a plate off of the PlayStation 5. I even watched a Sony video where they took one of the face plates off. And it seems like from the factory, like someone was spazzing out because where I pulled it off, there should be no scratch marks. I just don't think this is easy to put. I, I don't think the plates are designed that great. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I, I don't. Okay. That was, wow. That wasn't, it was easier to put the screen on 
than I thought it would be. Okay. Let me just remove my five gallons of sweat right there. And, and there we go. And let's put the stand back on the bottom. Again, I'm going to use Sony's stand because why the hell not? If I can. And now the stand is not working. Did I mention I think the stands are the stupidest idea for the PlayStation 5 in the world? Anyway, here we go. Here is the PlayStation 5 with the screen. That's actually pretty slick looking. I gotta keep it real. That's that's pretty slick looking. And it's now like part of it too, which it kind of clicks down too. I like that. You could change the screen there as you see. Put it down again. And there you go. That's... Hey, if it works, if it works, that's pretty cool. We don't know if it works yet, though. I really, I haven't tried this yet. I just literally opened it up. So uh, let's uh, plug some stuff in and see what happens. tidbit here i just want to make sure everyone knows if you do end up buying this because so far it seems pretty good we'll turn it on and see if it keeps holding up but there are two ports back here take a gander you got 4k 30 4k 60 plug into hdmi 2 you don't want to be playing all of your games at 30 fps on the playstation 5 just a little semi pro tip as i'm setting this thing up all right so we're all plugged in everything is connected does it work? <laughs> Let's hit the power button and see what happens. All right, we got a logo. Hey! There we go. Let's see. Fix the angle a little bit, less reflection. That looks pretty good, man. That looks pretty good. All right. I'm going to flip this around, get my tripod set up, show some gameplay, and uh, I'll give you some thoughts on it. Can't say this is a review, I just opened it up, but it's a monitor. It's either going to look good or it doesn't. So I'll get back to you in a minute. I'll play some Ratchet and Clank and some other games and see how it looks. Okay, quick final thoughts on the G-Story PS5 4K attachable monitor. Really cool concept. I like it. Don't buy it. <laughs> I, I look, it has a nice picture. HDR looks nice on it. The colors really pop. It's a really clean image that comes out of this thing. But I noticed light bleed a little bit, just a little bit, but for its price, that's just unacceptable it doesn't have 120 hertz fast refresh mode it does have free sync which is cool but you could find that on monitors way cheaper than this and the sound quality is fine out of the speakers it's actually pretty good but they want almost as much as you would spend on a PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. This thing is $379, and you could find another monitor. Okay, you can't actually attach it to the PlayStation 5 and make it into a gaming laptop for way cheaper with higher refresh rates that have basically just as nice of a picture. I would have rather have seen G-Story put a 1080p 120 hertz panel in here than go 4K HDR free sync the whole nine. Just give the high refresh rate with a lower resolution and it would have been perfectly okay. If this was maybe, maybe 250 bucks, I would say think about it, but 
not at the price of the damn console itself. There's way better monitors you could buy out there for way cheaper that offer a hell of a lot more. But if you're gonna buy it anyway, I have an affiliate link below in the description. So if you're not gonna listen to me and buy it, I'll get a little kickback. I recommend not doing that though. I don't think it's worth it. It's a good product, but they're asking too much money. And the build quality isn't there too. I don't like the way the buttons feel. They work, they're fine, but they're asking a lot of money for something that I feel should cost at least $130 less. This to me is a hard pass. Sorry, G Story. I've bought your products before and love them, but this isn't one of your better ones. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. It does look cool as hell, though. I'll give it that. Thank you.